What's the range versus the domain? Let's say if I have f of x function, f of x is basically y. So y is equal to 1 by x. Now range means all the values that y can take, this guy can take. Domain means all the values that this guy can take. Input. Now x can have an input which is 0. So domain can't have 0. Which means domain will have everything from minus infinity to plus infinity minus 0. Since you have to write set of values, you will always write in curve, cur curly brackets. All right, Set of values. Got the point? What will be the range? Range can be practically anything. All. Okay. But yeah, 0 can't be the range again because you will not get 0 as the output. Okay. Hypothetically, you cannot get 0 as the output. You will get 0 as the output only when x is infinite. Okay. So that's called range and domain. Got the point? So range is what? The output values. Domain is what? The input values. So in this question, they've asked you, what is the range of the function f of x is x minus 2 and 3 minus x? What all outputs can it take? Can you try that, please? Why? f of x is x minus 2 and 3 minus x. First of all, what I'll do is, I'll take, I'll write the f of x first. f of x is x minus 2 into 3 minus x, right? So I'll take negative common x minus 2 x minus 3. This is basically a graph with a quadratic curve that touches the x axis at 2 and 3. The minimum it can go is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 technically because y axis will give you the value. So this value is if you substitute 2.5 here that is the minimum right which is the value that you get is 0 0.25 negative. <coughs> And the maximum you can go is infinite. So technically the range is from negative 0.25 to positive infinite. But since the entire function is negative, it will become minus infinity to plus 0.25. And infinity can't be included, 0.25 is included. That is why you have the curve and the square brackets. Whenever you include something, it is a square bracket. Whenever you do not include th things, it is always a curve bracket. Fine. That's the range of the function, so that's the answer. Basically, option second. Correct. F of x is a quadratic polynomial. F of five is thirty-five. F of minus five is fifteen. Now, when you have a quadratic polynomial, it's of this form. Yeah. What's going to be f of five? Twenty-five a plus five b plus c. C doesn't matter as such. What is going to be minus 5? 25a minus 5b. This is 35. This is 15. Subtracting both, you get 10b is 50. So b is, sorry, 10b is uh, 20. So b is 2. What is b? The middle term. Nothing else but sum of, sum of roots. That's the answer. 2. 